So today we're going to discuss uh, water pollution and its effects on the environment. So I need you all to get out your journals, uh, write today's date at the top, and then we can get started as soon as you have that done. So today I'm going to do a little demonstration to kick off the class, uh, kind of get your, your brains thinking. Um, so I have a cardboard egg carton, uh, some paper towels, I have some water, some food coloring, and some celery seed. So to start off, I'm going to pour the water into the egg carton. And as you notice, when you pour it into one little slot, it'll fill up, it'll seep over the edge into all the other compartments in the carton. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. until it all crosses over. All right, so now I'm gonna drop a few drops of food coloring in this end of the carton. I'm gonna give it, let it sit for a minute. And at this end of the carton, I'm gonna drop in a little tiny handful of celery seed. Let that go. So now I've put all that in there, in your notebooks, I'm going to want you to write your prediction. What do you think will happen to the food coloring, to the water, um, to the seed? Do you think it's all going to stay in the same place? Do you think it's going to move to other parts of the egg carton? Do you think it could maybe leave the egg carton? So why don't you go ahead and make your predictions. What do you think is going to happen? You can write down anything you want. Uh, we're going to come back to this later in about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, when this is ready to talk about again. So I'm going to put this off to the side. And go ahead and let it do its thing. So 10 or 15 minutes later, I'll notice what happened that it works and I will pull it back out and I'll post a picture of this later what it actually looks like at both stages. So our little demonstration is ready. Um, so I'm going to call up uh, one row of tables at a time, come up observe uh, what happened. Um, so we're on the first row come up right now and we'll go ahead and get the other two rows up after them. So now that you're all back at your seats, uh, what did you think would happen at first? Um, and wh what did you see happen? Billy? I thought the, the food coloring was going to move through the carton. Very good. So how does this relate to water pollution um, in the real world? What? What do you think the egg carton represents? What do you think the egg carton is an analogy for in the real world? Very good, the egg carton represents how all water on earth is interconnected. All the streams, all the lakes, all the rivers, all the oceans are interconnected just as each compartment in the egg carton is connected with the other compartments. When I poured the water in, the water flowed from the very first one into all 11 other uh, compartments without me having to move the water. Just as water flows from one source on earth and enters various other sources. So in this scenario, what was the pollutant? Very good, the pollutant was the seed and the food coloring. So what did you notice with the pollutant? Very good. The pollutant went from one end of the carton all the way to the other end. The food coloring went to the complete opposite end and the seeds traveled to the complete opposite end. So pollutants, no matter where they enter in the water cycle, whether it be lake, river, stream, ocean, that pollutant can enter 
many other um, bodies of water via different avenues. So did you notice anything else? Anything else did you notice with the egg carton? Uh, perhaps the paper towel when you came up uh, to look at the new demonstration after we let it sit? Yes, the food coloring and water seeped out into the paper towel. So what we saw there is similar to groundwater. Does anybody know what groundwater is? Very good. Water that's, store, that's underground, um, stored down there. And the pollutants uh, in the real world will seep from the lakes, from the rivers, from the oceans, through the soil into the groundwater. And there, from there, they can enter um, the soil, they can enter the trees, they can hurt the trees um, and the plants in the area around this body of water and the organisms that benefit from these trees, that eat these trees, depend on these trees, uh, are affected as well. So as you can see, just a little bit of pollution uh, can go a long way in Earth's uh, bodies of water and can seep into the ground and have a massive effect on the area even within feet, yards, you know, miles of this body of water. So you really need to care for your water uh, sources. Don't pollute. Um, it does more damage than you think. Uh, then you can even, you know, notice. Um, so we're going to go on. Now that you've seen that, kind of give you a little introduction to uh, the effects of pollution on Earth's water sources. We can go ahead and get into the meat of today's lesson. Thank you.